one, two, three. Bad 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 Bad. <laughs> Me and Hunter both hit some bombs. <laughs> Back check on that. <laughs> oh man, okay. Hey, what up, guys? It's Wilson, and I'm back at it again. Okay, I know what you guys are thinking. Hey, Steve, aren't you playing for MPC? So, I was at MPC earlier in the fall. It just wasn't a fit for me. I'm gonna explain throughout the vlog. I got blessed to play for Hartnell College. But before I explain more, let's get a baby cue the intro. Alright guys, before I leave to practice, I just had to examine the fire fit. You got the Hartnell, the Lulus, you got the freaking gold socks, and the maroon bottom Nikes. Yo, can't forget about the stash, baby. Guys, I gotta grab this protein shake and dip to practice so I can get there a little early. <laughs> so yeah, let's get it. Guys, I'm on this uh, this peaceful drive to Salinas right now. It's a new season of Steven Kinez. I'm back to upload it again. I know I always say that. Hey, at the end of the day, you gotta try your hardest. No matter how many times you fail, dude, I'm uploading again, okay? Yeah, guys, I uh, figured I should explain myself a little bit. When I got to NPC, I was a little bit burnt out off of Summer Ball. I was pretty skinny. I felt like I was a little bit depressed. I wasn't uploading YouTube videos. I don't know, it was just kind of like a hard time in my life, living on my own. Kimon and his mom saved me, let me sleep on their couch. So shout out to them, man. Yeah, man, I didn't upload too much during the fall. Honestly, guys, at NPC, there's a decent amount of like filming restrictions. I filmed Kivon, they got mad at me one time and I kind of just didn't bring out the vlog. Felt like I couldn't really be myself there as much. Coaches were awesome, man. Just at the end of the day, it wasn't the right fit for me. I'll explain a little bit more about it throughout the vlog, but I got an opportunity to play at this school called Hartnell. It's 20 minutes down the road. I've learned so much since I've been here. I really like the team here at Hartnell. I've been giving it my 100% every day at practice. I mean, it looks like I'm in a good spot. Yeah, guys, we we're actually almost here. So I'll put the camera down, introduce you to some of the homies. Yeah, boys, let's get it. All right, boys, we are at practice. What up, Alex? Game day. <laughs> no, it isn't. Practice day. First day of the week for practice. Pretty much like a game day, man. I got to be ready for the week. Got the CSUMB, boys. What's up, What's up? What up, baby? Hey, guys, I got to get warmed up right now. Three hours later. All right, guys, practice is ended. Boys, as you guys can see right here, this is a beautiful bag. I used this last year and dropped absolute nukes. Did you use it today during BP when I you hit that bomb? Today. I hit a ball. Did you see those mountains in the back? Deep as <laughs> back there. Yeah. That's, the, that's why I hit that ball just now. We just ended practice today. It was a good practice, man. Me and Hunter both hit some bombs. So. Actually smashed. If you look where the trees are. Yeah, it was all zoomed in, boys. I didn't see it. We got Ben out here. Hey. Yes, sir. We got Manly Man. Mace is camera shy. Mace is camera shy. We got Jonas. Vlog debut, baby. Hartnell, veteran of the team right here. He's been here since the start. Yes, sir. Sharing the outfield together, you already know. You're not going to lie, it's a pretty it's sauce a 44. 44. Hey, real talk, I think I'm about to get a 44 for my birthday. Really? Oh, bro, like 120. Dude. Bro, get him to sponsor you. 44 for watching this right now. <laughs> Hand over the sponsorship. 44, I'm open too. I know I got a 44 glove, but if you guys want to hook it up with another one, I'm down. We got X and Ash over here. Like corners, like right there, dude. They just so go for some reason. What are you talking about? Our gaps. You just said they're endless, dude. It just goes. <laughs> we got like, some. Really yes. <laughs> yeah, Ash freaking went yards today too, bro. Sorry, a little left center action. Dude, we had some. We had some good BP today, man. Yeah, X. Were you in center when we were hitting, bro? Yeah, I was just like, <laughs> just go by, just like, yeah. Yeah. I, wish I could do that. <laughs> I gotta start trying to get some uh, some clips during BP. That'd be fun. We got Sal out here getting his gear. What up, baby? How we doing? How we doing? You just got the gear today, since you're back. First game back. Felt good. Good. Yes, sir. Like, oh, slow start, but I, think I was like getting back into it. Getting back into yes, it. sir. I feel bad. Some of the guys had COVID, so they were out for like almost two weeks, man. They were here like the first two days of practice, and now they're finally back. So yeah, everybody's getting back on pace. This is my last MLK day with the team. <laughs> <laughs> hey, MLK was a baseball player. MLK was, he? Baseball. was a baseball player. No way. <laughs> Fact check on that shit. <laughs> All right, boys, gotta bring it up. Put him in, boys. Mommy Blazer. Family on three, family on three, one, two, three. Family! All right, outfielders, you gotta roll. Hey, what did I say? <laughs> oh, such a funny guy. Shag. <laughs> if you didn't go yay today, you gotta go shag all the balls or the fence. Uh, it's one. <laughs> Hunter, you gotta pick up your home run ball, right? Yeah. Hunter, are you keeping that ball? <laughs> he's yeah. he's, yeah. Yeah, he's framing know. it. I'm gonna sign it. First, first. <laughs> All right, boys, we are entering the Kinez Corpus and then everybody else's last name is Residence. We got Braden in the cut. You already know. Richard and NPC, so you're not at practice right now, but he's vibing. Vibing, hanging out around campus, you know. Getting <laughs> yes, ready for the season, working out. About to go get a lift in, huh? Yes, sir, you already know. You already know, boys. We got to keep this weight on this season. I'm trying to gain like five more plus pounds before season starts because I know I'm going to drop a little bit. But yeah, we're about to eat right now and then I'll explain a little bit more on why I left NPC. So make sure you guys stay tuned. It's a sexy looking meal right there, boys. Got the rice in the Trader Joe's 
chicken burritos. Now that's pushing pee. All right, guys, just finished eating. We're heading to Dick's Sporting Goods. We got your boy, Kevon in the cut. Hey, man, NPC local legend. Bro. Oh, Check man. It out. Look at this kid. He's all NPC <laughs> in his little PO jacket. Hey, yeah, we just got these today, bro. I'm gonna admit, they're kind of cool. You're wearing my number. Yeah, I'm 34 this year. They gave me Steven's number for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, probably because I left. So today we're gonna be getting undershirt, high top cleats because I keep rolling my ankles, and then whatever else is there. But I've been telling him, man, I got the high top wave. I look at my ankle, bro. I keep rolling my ankles, so I need some high tops. Hey, here. those Evo Shield socks are sick, though. Thanks, bud. All right, let's get it. We're just doing a little car switch right now. We're at Palma. What are we doing at Palma, boys? Switching with Isaiah's parents. Yeah, we got freaking Selena's high right here. I hit a home run. I can send you the clip if you want to roll it. Yeah, let's I roll know. it, bro. Why not? Why not? Ashback. Hey, get out of here. Get out, ball! Get out, get out ball! End of flashback. After you just seen that, what do you think? I mean, POs can still hit the ball, right? I personally don't think he wants to be a PO. Dude. His swing is too nice. How are you on the bases, bro? No, no. I'm you got, you got to be good no. on the bases. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, that's where I fail. Uh, but let me tell you, the pitcher I hit it off of is at a Division Two right now, so he wasn't throwing putt. Isaiah, you think freaking Kimon could be a two way or what? I, we just rolled the clip of him hitting the home run. <laughs> <laughs> you know, off of who, right? Oh <laughs> yeah, Nathan Chapman. Nathan Chapman. <laughs> <laughs> you take off a Chapman. If Coach DP's watching this, man, Kimon's gonna be your ace, and maybe he could be your four hitter. That's all I'm saying. Uh, you heard it. I didn't even say it. You heard it. All right, guys. So we just had to restart this combo. It's too funny not to get. Yeah, Kevon's telling me what pitches he thinks he's going to throw to me and how I'm going to react. And yeah, we're just going to relive it right now. First pitch. Downhill, 91 miles an hour at the shoelaces. He's not going to want to swing at that. It's the first pitch. That's strike one. Gimme, give gimme, give of course. Duh. I got my catcher right here. So if I'm getting out of pocket, you can stop me in. <laughs> no, keep on going. Second yeah, pitch is yes. going to be a fake <laughs> shake. And I'm just going to throw the same pitch again outside. But I'm just going to let it eat. It's not going to be that low. It might be a little bit fake higher. Fake shake. No. It, boys. Found me back, Steven. Found me back. Uh, was that second or third pitch? Second pitch. Unless you have some crazy take. Wait, wait, so right down the middle? It's gonna go arm side. It's gonna like run away. You know what I mean? Not okay, like okay. flat. It's gonna come up. You know, I'm on no little right. kid, Steven. Third pitch. I am going to give you the biggest smile on my face of all time. <laughs> yeah, you no, know I, it's coming, mother. That, you know it's coming. He knows what's coming. It's gonna be the curveball, bud. They call me the Snapdragon on NPCs. Do they not, bro? That's what my pitching coach at least calls me. I think. I don't know. Anyways, Snapdragon's coming. Be honest with you, Steven, it's not gonna be for a stretch. It's gonna be down, and I think you might take it, to be honest. Okay. I think you have good enough Watch taking abilities, way. yes. So now we're freaking one ball, two strikes. They don't understand. I've been developing this for the last year now. Do you think I care if they know what pitches I have? At MLB. View College, listen to this. At View College, the teams we would play in the fall would keep pitching charts on us, so they would have all of our pitches, velos, and and command. That's what, that's what MLB I'm not, does. I'm not yeah. scared. MLB does the same thing. You know, players know all their pitches and how hard they throw. DeGrom still dominates every year. You guys, Kevon's absolutely nasty. Oh, hey. Kevon is the CC Sabathia of the 831. I'm telling you, boys. <laughs> he's gonna stock in the pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys, these are my pants. I just paint them on. Look what they have with baseball pants. These are jeans. <laughs> Doing Stretchy it. jeans. What are we bro? doing, boys? Jeggings? Get out of here, guys. <laughs> Why do they have jeggings in the baseball pants section? What up, baby? You already know, man. Still on the grind. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sal was just on the vlog, bro. Try all the Nike ones. It's all about how you feel. Look good, play good. <laughs> guys, you're watching the process. <laughs> guys, okay, let's explain that. Um, so Kevon's wearing um, some tights, I guess. I don't know, bro. Those are black pants. Softball pants right now. Yeah, I feel he's like wearing I'm just softball pants. Judge and I'm the six right now. Uh, As you can see, guy, he's getting in his freaking hacks. Dick Sporting Goods hacks. Let's see. see if I can see myself in these pants, boys. Like, I give him a yeah. Gotta get the visualization. Adidas, I don't know what you're thinking with the see through right here. You could clearly see that I'm wearing Camelou lemon shorts. Like, <laughs> I don't, I'm weak as f. Hey, I say you go for him, but you just get the white sliders. Cutting. I think I might just look online, like keep on searching, you know? I mean, here, ask this guy. Why is everything, everything, bro? Everything, keep everything on I touch touching in this store is softball, bro. <laughs> <laughs> of course, they don't have maroon. Maroon oh. is so rare, bro. It's, it's Dude, sad. You got a license plate on the oh back. Oh my new god. New, new speed. Adidas, I love you, but I don't know if I like that one. Hey, comment down below if you guys think that's hard. Hard or not? I don't know. How did we find the mic trap? Bro, just hiding. Oh, if these were hard. maroon, I'd get these right now. These are maroon. Sadly, they're not. Get this in the vlog. <laughs> I've been working on my golf game. Oh man, okay. Alright. <laughs> Three hundo piece. Just drop Three. the back. Hold up. Let's see it, Zah. Oh. We're looking at the beach run that NPC boys have to do. Yeah. So we just checked it out. We're going to jog 50% the whole time. I don't even know if I'll make it within 20 minutes. I don't know what my jogging pace is. I want to tell you what it looks like. It's all the hard now, boys, right now. It's only you right now. You're alone. You're ready. 
<laughs> These are my rivals right here. Throw the blows at you for the chat. Yeah, yeah, like that. And then bag you a little bit. Bro, those are hard. <laughs> How do I hit that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are back home. I kind of wanted to just explain more why I'm at heart now, why I left NPC, and just like what went through my mind leading up to those decisions. So let's backtrack. At the end of summer, I was advised that I could play at CCUMB. The head coach was like, he was like, yeah, why didn't you get in contact with us like two weeks earlier? You'd be on the team in the fall. I was like, well, shoot. I was like, well, shoot, gotta grind this fall. Then he said I could go there in the spring. I'm stupid, just right there. It's really tough to transfer to a four year ride in the spring. So in all honesty, I could have just stayed at LA Valley, could have stayed home, home cooked meals. I didn't really think it through, man. I just thought four year, I gotta do whatever it takes to get to that four year, man. I've been in Juco forever. It's pretty reasonable, man, because I got two seasons canceled at LA Valley. So I really didn't think Valley was an option. I thought they were gonna get canceled again, to be honest, which they didn't end up, and they're actually having a good year. So from the end of Star Ball, I end up just saying, screw it, let me get a fall at NPC, and if CCV doesn't work out, it'll be cool in the spring, man, being with the boys, Hunter and Kevon. So yeah, I end up going to NPC. I might as well get acquainted with the area early. I loved it at LA Valley, but I couldn't risk not having a season again, you know? I get to NPC for the fall. I did all right, man. I just didn't dominate like I was supposed to. And like every school, man, they got their three-year guys because Corona happened, and they're going to be loyal to their guys, not some schmuck that just rolls into the fall expecting to play, you know? So I was like, well, shoot, what do I do from here? I really could have stayed at NPC and grinded it out with Kevon, but my boy Hunter wasn't happy. Some of his former coaches just got hired to coach Hart now. They're in a rebuild year. Had like 15 transfers coming at the break. I was like, you know what? Fresh start sounds pretty good right now after not having an amazing fall at NPC. I was like, screw it, man. I'm gonna go crazy training in the off season and uh, come to Hart now ready to go. Came to Hart now really good, man. Lighting up the field at inner squads, doing everything I can. And I just loved how it was a fresh start. They were getting me for me rather than placing myself in a hole after having an iffy fall, you know? And as you can tell, C-Street for the spring didn't end up working out. Like their roster was full and everything. It's kind of what I was expecting. I was like, you know what? I have an apartment out here in Monterey. I might as well go to Hard Now with my boy Hunter, get a fresh start, get the reps I need, do what I can to be a role player on this team. Yeah, man, I'm happy I went to Hard Now. It sucks not seeing the boy Kevon at NPC. It's pretty funny still being really good friends with all the NPC guys. They all chill at the apartment. Yeah, man, we all get after it. We all work hard. We're all Valley Boys, baby. We work when nobody's watching. We make sure to get that work in no matter who hates on us, who doubts on us. Yeah, man, we all believe in ourselves. That's why I was like, I was like, you know what? Might as well make a name for myself in Salinas. So far, my plan hasn't panned out to exactly how I wanted it to go. You know what, man? We're trying our best and we're just gonna keep making things happen. Man. So I appreciate all you guys for sticking along with me in the ride. I know I get clowned a lot in the comments. They try to comment on my batting average, everything. So I see all the support, man. It really helps keeping everything going. I love all you guys, the Valley Boys family, all my subscribers, all my supporters. If you guys have been with me since Arkansas Tech, or if you guys just subscribed to the channel, you guys are awesome, man. I'm gonna keep updating you guys on Instagram, on TikTok, future YouTube videos. Make sure you guys comment down below any other questions. But yeah, guys, that is gonna be the end of the video today. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video. We're doing a collab with my boy Brayden Montgomery at Stanford. And yeah, guys, make sure you guys follow me at everywhere at Stephen Kinez. Go grab a hat at valleyboys.shop. We got a Valley Boys announcement coming soon. And yeah, guys, that's gonna be it in the video today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.